strong and kind of like, whoa! What's up, P-Nation? Today we're in Athens and we're taking you on a... Food tour! <laughs> Yay! We love food, we love Greek food especially. Mm -hmm. It has a warm place in our heart, so we are excited to explore the city and try some new and some familiar Greek food. So we're starting off the day with a few Greek staples, Greek salad, fried sardines, which I'm not excited about at all, and moussaka. Okay, so our first stop is Atitamos, and it's like a really cute little cozy restaurant, at least that's what Google Maps said. So we're trying it out first to get some Greek salad, sardines, and... Moussaka. Saganaki. <laughs> Thank you. So the first thing we're having is saganaki, which is pretty much fried cheese. And it doesn't specify what kind of cheese it is, but I have a feeling it's going to be good. I think you can eat this by itself, or maybe with bread, but I'm going for it. So I was wrong about the cheese. It's less of a feta and more of a salty mozzarella. It tastes just like mozzarella sticks, but like the best, classiest mozzarella stick you've ever had in your life with fresh lemon sprinkled on top. The second thing we're trying is Greek salad, or better known as village salad, or horiatiki salata me feta. So everybody knows Greek salad, and the Greeks know that you've heard of Greek salad, or at least you have it. So Greek salad actually doesn't have any lettuce in it. You can go places, and I'm just thinking if it has lettuce in it, it's not a real Greek salad. But they know you want it, so it's a little bit more expensive than the salads you can order here. But it's good. Okay, I just had an olive and they're really good and I realized what makes this salad so wonderful is that every flavor is so pungent. The onions are fresh, the feta is very strong, and then the olives are just... So ouzo can only be called ouzo if it's made in Greece. And so it's in like an anise flavored liqueur and you can, if you've ever seen my Big Fat Greek Wedding, you can see that they're like, the entire family is getting smashed. So let's see what this tastes like. It tastes like licorice. <laughs> so not only is it flavored with anise, it's flavored with like coriander and like allspice. Sardines are like on every single Greek menu. What I think is really cool about them is that they're served in the like most basic restaurants and in like the most high establishment restaurants. So they're like a dish that's right in between its traditional Greek culture so the poor can enjoy them, but it's so invested in the culture that even like the rich love them too. So I've never eaten a sardine before in my life. And I know my dad is going to be so proud of me. Here goes. This is not your sardines in a can. This is like really good fish with a slightly crunchy aspect to it. It's the little bones inside that are absolutely 100% edible. It's really good. If you've never had baklava, you need to try it. It's like sweet nut dough, crispy, delightfulness in your mouth. It's so good. I love baklava so much. That was so good, I'm so full, so let's go get some more food. On to the next place. <laughs> I like to learn how to say a few keywords in every language in all the countries we visit. So to say hello in the morning time, it's Kalimera. In the afternoon, or like nighttime, it's Kalispera. So to say goodbye, it's kind of similar to Spanish, so that's fun. It's adio instead of adios. So you take off this. Second stop, Rosalia. 
Okay, so sorry for the sound of the rain. It turned a downpour while we're outside, thankfully underneath an umbrella. But here we are trying the souvlaki. It comes with kind of like a sauce. It's just like a garlic tomato sauce maybe, or garlic like pepper sauce. It's really good. Anyways, here we go. It's more delicately spiced than the lamb we like are used to eating. It's really, really good. Okay, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with moussaka, it's just like lasagna except it has potatoes and eggplant in it. Instead of cheese, it has bechamel sauce. The bechamel sauce is so creamy. I'm used to cheese on lasagna and I'm used to like al dente pasta on lasagna, but this is so soft all together. It's like a casserole almost. Very creamy, very cinnamony, <laughs> some allspice in there as well. It's really good. It's so good, I'm so full, but the rain will not deter us from going to our next three places. Just we're going to three more places as if this already was enough. <laughs> We finally made it across the city to the fried cheese pie place. Maybe it's not fried, maybe it's a cheese pie place. And I am so excited, I wanted to come here ever since I learned it existed one week ago. It's about time. So this place got really good reviews. I thought it was like an inside type of place, but really it's just like a cart out on the street and they have a huge sign. So what we have here is Tiropita, and it's pretty much just cheese pie. First impression, it's really salty. It's good. It's a little more dry than I thought it was gonna be, but it does have a good cheese flavor inside and it is really salty, which I love. So when we were talking about cheese pie, I kind of suspected it to be like creamy cheese inside, but it is straight up feta cheese. And it is like powerful and strong and kind of like, whoa, it's really, really hot. So it's like kind of melted a little bit. I don't know, I've never had hot feta in a meal. The consistency is like cream cheese, just like if you're back in America. I don't know what that is. And it's like pie dough with cream cheese. I would eat this every day for breakfast if I was allowed. really interesting as you see on all the walls behind me there's so much graffiti here and the argument is is it art or is it vandalism you tell us in the comment section about the Parthenon and the Acropolis and the history and where everything is now. We just like are so ready to explore the actual Acropolis tomorrow morning. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Okay, so we need to work off some of that food we just ate. So we just went in the museum for about two hours and paid 10 euros to basically... Yeah, 10 euros each to understand what the crab is all about. Like it. <laughs> I thought it 
Everyone's rosé. <laughs> Spicy cheese dip. So we were gonna get tzatziki, but like you would expect us to get tzatziki. So we got something different. So spicy. It kind of looked like pimento cheese, but really, it's, I think it's like a, a red pepper sauce mixed in with like crumbled up fat. So it's really salty. It has a really good bit of flavor. The olive oil on top. Good, good. Now I'm trying the Kef Tedes, which Lee used to make at home for me all the time. I'm tasting some lemon, mint, and some garlic. And there's a really crispy outside, which I'm not used to. Normally, when I've had the blood tents before, we make them in the oven, so it's not like crispy on the outside. These are a little bit fried. It's really good. It's like you get the soft dough with the crispiness on the outside. Okay, so I read that tomato meatballs, like tomato balls, the fried, are really popular. Let's try this. It tastes like a, like a tomato dumpling. It's just like pan fried. With some Greek yogurt sauce. It's good. It's not too sweet. It's not too salty. It is amazing. I don't, I don't even eat like potato pancakes. Every time someone says like, I like potato pancake, I'm like, I don't know what that is. But this tastes like a potato pancake. So like mashed potatoes or the tomato flavor, like the tomato sauce. You know, there's so many things going on in this. It's really mushy, so it's like it doesn't have a lot of actual tomato in it. It's just the flavor. It's like ketchup in a French fry and crispy on the outside. This is the best thing I've had today. So as you guys can imagine, we are so full. Thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah, we ate so much good food. I feel like it was very meat heavy, mm -hmm. but I will say that Greek salad like was probably the most vegetables we've had in a month. And balanced so. it out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun. We were so happy to explore the food of Athens, Greece. Hopefully this will inspire you to go seek out some Greek food near you. It was all delicious. We'd eat it all again. Today has just been a great day. And it was very delicious to have you. Yeah! Like, water, so. <laughs> also, I'm doing a really bad job of saying the Greek thank you because it's kind of complicated and it's like, off a steep, I don't know. So if you're curious, this is how many little bones are gonna start eating.